Earlier this week, talk show host James Corden found himself at the centre of a row with a famous New York restaurant owner who accused him of being extremely nasty to his staff. In an Instagram post banning the star, mm. Keith McNally said Corden was a hugely gifted comedian, but a tiny cretin of a man and the most abusive customer. The comedian apologised and the ban was lifted, but he remained defiant, declaring, I haven't done anything wrong on any level because I think it's so silly. So, is bad service ever an excuse for rudeness, Kevin? Well, they say that the way to judge someone's character is the way they treat waiters, uh, particularly mm. if they're rich, powerful and famous. Uh, I'm afraid that James, who I vaguely know, and he is a nice guy, but he does have form for this. Mm. And let's uh, analyse what it was that he was complaining about. It was really precious stuff. <sighs> His wife ordered a yolk-only omelette. So the Americans used to go in for white, egg white omelette. Now, apparently, they're going for yolk only, and there was a fleck of egg white in it, so it was sent back in a fury. Also, uh, James Corden claimed to have found a hair in his salad, Ooh. and uh, he demand, called the waiter over and said, uh, we need free drinks for this. And then he said, and by the way, I'll go into the kitchen. Obviously, I can cook the omelette, because you lot can't. You can't do your job. He was obviously obviously very, very rude. Uh, and then uh, in an interview with the New York Times when the reporter had the temerity to bring the topic up, he said, this is beneath you and it is beneath the New York Times. This is just silly. It's, it, it isn't silly. Uh, it's bad behaviour. I can see it's not a, the biggest story in the world, but this is a bad moment in mm -hmm. Corden's career because I don't like people who treat waiters like no, that. No, yeah. completely. And the way that he's behaved even after this revelation came out mm -hmm. just serves as evidence yes. that... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Any response. Yeah. Trying to yeah. brush it away. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's treating the journalist mm -hmm from the New York Times yeah, yeah. exactly the same with way yes, that yes. with, with contempt and just the, you point. can imagine what that phone call might how that phone call might have gone and how groveling he might have been and I it wouldn't surprise me if you know if more stories came out is, in a similar vein because is, yeah. people like that will get called out and I, I despise it I've worked with many actors over the years and it's interesting mm. the way that they treat you at the beginning of your career and mm. then the way they treat you when they meet you again a couple of years later you always remember the bad ones is it a form of sort of he's so embarrassed by how badly he behaved that he's trying to sort of almost to bully be, his way out of it to yeah, be embarrassed yeah. you have to have deeply humility embarrassed. Yeah. No, he's you, clearly got none of that no, yeah you <laughs> have to have a sense of humility to feel embarrassed i will say though i'm glad the americans took him off our hands <laughs> he's coming back, back. Now. Uh, America, he's coming you back. can back. keep him the thing is he's coming back <laughs> but that, <laughs> oh god th that really? kind of yeah, attitude yeah his contract's over oh good but lord but it seems like there's a few stories like this about james Corden yeah, no, he's that, got he's form. Been, that he has got form in this area and at least you know if you've been caught out this time like he has done before at least humble yourself a little bit, you know, and try and, like, if you called the owner to grovel and apologise, that was obviously just so you could go back to the restaurant and obviously yeah. so that people would hear that you did that, but clearly he didn't mean it because, he, like yeah. you said, he's done the same thing to the New York Times reporter. Just humble yourself a bit. Have a bit of humility. And he at least to remember that when he comes back to London, that behaviour is not going to wash you. I've got two, oh, I've got two friends not. that I will not... They're really good friends of mine and I really like them, but I will not go to restaurants with them because... They get there and they treat waiters as if they're not human. That's the yeah, point. That's There's it's a certain appalling. type of person who treats waiters and indeed all people in service industries as sort of serfs. Horrible. And it's very not worthy of your consideration. Your I don't, yeah, like, exactly. I don't, I don't like, like that. Having worked as a waitress and a hostess for many, many years, yeah. you do remember those bad customers. So if yeah. you've learned anything, be nice to waiters. Yeah. And remember to Yes. Take.